Welcome to another episode of China Tech. Today, I'm just going to be quickly showing you how to uh, connect your i7s TWS earbuds into your phone, as well as some of the different functions you can access with them using the little buttons on the side. So let's jump into that now. So the first thing we're going to look at is actually pairing your i7s TWS earbuds into your phone. So the way I found works best for me is actually just to pair the first one, and then you can actually pair the second one after the first one, and I found that just works a lot better for me. So we're just going to take our first earpiece, and I'm going to open up the Bluetooth setting on my phone. So if I hold this button down, that's going to turn on this earpiece. You can see the lights flashing, which means it's in pairing mode. So now if I go pair a new device, you'll see the TWS i7s appeared. If I just press that, your headset is connected. There you go. It'll play a little uh, tune to say it's been connected. And then this is actually connected into my phone. So now if I go to Spotify, I'll just play something. And you can hear this is completely connected now. It's playing music. So now that we've got our first earbud connected, what we can do is grab out our second one. And now it's actually really easy to pair the first with the second and get them both playing. So the first one right now I've got it on. This is the one connected to my phone. What we're gonna do with the second is just press and hold to turn it on. So it's just come on. And you heard they both just automatically connected to each other just because I turned this one on really close to this one. Alternatively though, there is a second method that you can try if it doesn't automatically connect. So if they don't automatically connect, what I found normally works for me is I'll have this first one turned on and then this second one, I'll just try and bring it as close as I can and then I'll just sort of long press the back button for about two seconds and then that'll normally connect the two together. If they don't automatically connect just by bringing them close together, then that is the way I use to uh, connect the two. Once they are connected though, there's a variety of different functions you can actually access using this little button on the back of each earbud. So you'll see I've got Spotify open here on my phone and what you can actually do, the simplest gesture is just a single press of this button on the back and you'll see that actually plays the track. It's now playing through the earbud as you can hear. So if I press it again, it'll actually pause it. And now a second gesture that you can also use in something like Spotify is if I long press, you'll hear a little beep and it's actually skipped the track. So that's another separate gesture you can try. So I'll do it again. And you can see you just hear that little beep to let you know that you've done the long press and it's actually skipped over to the next track. So I'll do it one more time. And there you go. And then I'll just press it once again to pause it. And let's get on to the next one. So another cool little trick is if you double press the button on this earbud, it'll actually call back the most recent call on your phone. So I'll do it now. And you can see it's actually calling my brother. So I'm going to hang up and I'll do it again. I'll uh, double press this button. And there you go, the call's actually coming up. Alternatively, if you're actually getting a call, like you can see I am now, you can actually press once on this earpiece to accept the call. You can see now we're actually in the call. I can press again and it's just hung up. Alternatively, if you don't want to actually pick up the call, you can just long press on the earbud and you'll see it's actually denied the call. So those pretty much are all the different functions you'll find on these TWS i7s earbuds. The other most important function actually is probably the turning off function. So you can see if I just long press these both, you'll hear they've both shut down. And now what you can do is just plug them back into the battery case, just like that. Shut the lid and then if you want them to charge up from the battery in the battery case, you just need to press this button. You'll see the blue lights on, they're red in here, meaning they're actually charging. And now you can just put it down somewhere and they will charge up. That's really it though. Thank you for watching. I hope I could help you out. These are a little bit complicated to use if you're not too familiar with how to uh, set up these i7s little earbuds. But once you've got the hang of it, it's not too bad. If you want to see my sort of full review, my bigger video on these earbuds that I just released, I'll have a link to it up in the corner as well as in the comments if you want to check that out. And I've actually just ordered a pair of i12s that are on the way, which are hopefully at least going to be a whole lot better than these earbuds, but I'll definitely do a comparison once they've arrived. So subscribe if you want to see that. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below. And I would also love to hear in the comment section some cheap Chinese tech that you know about that you think is pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section any sort of tech that you know about. And if I think it's pretty cool as well, then I'll definitely do a video on it and I'll even feature your comment in the video. So get onto that if you are interested. Apart from that though, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.